Oh, hey, Amoe. <laughs> Master Asahi, I can't believe it's you. Oh, you know this girl? This time, yeah. Moe here is one of the maids who works at Mediators, just over there. Miss Maid, you're so cute! It's nice to meet you, ladies. My name is Moe Suzumori. We'd love to have you as our mistresses at the cafe tonight. Mistresses? I'm no one's mistress! No need to get so flustered. All female customers at the cafe are addressed as mistress. Nothing weird about it. What? Really? <laughs> this mistress is quite precious indeed. Trust me, she really isn't. No need for all the flattery with her. That's not true. I think Saki's precious. Very cute, too. Will you and the two mistresses be stopping in for a brief respite then, Master? Hmm, that's pretty tempting. I'm pretty beat right now, so I guess it couldn't hurt to grab a cup of tea before I... Ahem. <clears throat> Do you remember that we were in pursuit of a certain someone? Uh, oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Moe, but I'll have to come back another time. Very well, Master. I look forward to your next visit. Oh man, there she goes. Such a rare opportunity, too. Getting served by Moe is a real luxury. I see. So you'd pick cavorting with maids over eliminating delusions, then? Is that even a question? And Moe's more than a maid, she's a real star. Her photo's even on this sign. Ever since she got here, she's really left her mark, helping to weave the storied lore of Akiba maids every day. I don't think I like the lascivious look in your eye right now, Asahi. Asahi's a neat, but he's still got called Master Asahi, so I want to be called Master Pinkoon! Pinkoon? What do you think you're doing? You can't just appear out in the open like that. It's not fair! Well, I want to be called Master too! He was stupid, no. Pinkoon's kind of like a little boy, isn't he? And maids know what guys like. Their business is making guys' dreams come true, after all. That means this delusion may in fact be maid-themed. That would make sense, especially given that there's nothing but maids here, as far as the eye can see. But still no delusionscape entrance. This is just the way Akiba used to be. I'm actually getting kind of pumped. Akihabara did go through a maid boom not too long ago. It was the golden age of maid cafes, to be sure. So whoever dreamed up this delusion must really love maids. I, I need to tell Moetan again today that that I'm back. Moetan, we'll be to together forever and ever and ever. Like him? I mean, this is Akiba. There have got to be 50,000 guys just like him. Well, that could be a problem then. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to find Akari. Nana, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm out doing some shopping. What about you, Master Asahi? Oh, you know, just looking for someone. Another one of your surprisingly numerous female acquaintances, Asahi? I don't know if I'd call her an acquaintance, per se, but yeah, she's another maid from the same cafe as Moe. Name's Nana. It's wonderful to meet you. Nana Nanao, at your service. Th that's quite the name. That outfit looks really cute on you, too. Oh, please. <laughs> You're going to make me blush. The girl has a point. Speaking of, you haven't seen a redhead wandering around here by any chance, have you? A redhead? Yeah, dressed in white and really tiny. 
probably, I don't know, less than 150 centimeters tall? You don't mean... you know her? I feel like I've seen her, but I also kind of feel like maybe I haven't. I can't entirely remember, actually. Well, that's mysterious. No, I must not have seen her. Now, hold on just a minute. But please, let me apologize for my absent-mindedness. Why don't I treat you to some English tea? In fact, I'll escort you and the mistresses directly to the cafe. Doesn't that sound nice? I'll say, let's do it. Asahi? Or not. Oh no, what's wrong? I can't, Nana. Maybe another time when I'm not chasing someone down. Sorry. Shame. But please remember, Master. I'll always be waiting for you. Tell me, Asahi. Are you by any chance a maid otaku? Oh, no, no, not at all. I just drop by that cafe on a whim from time to time. They've got really good food, so... <laughs> For someone who only drops by from time to time, those maids seemed awfully friendly with you. Aw, oh, man, you've even got Mippity doubting me now. If, anyway, don't we have a girl to find? Shall we be off, mistress? Sh shut up! I haven't seen even a hint of her. It's starting to get pretty late, too. <sighs> well, that was fruitless. Any chance you can give me back all the energy I wasted looking for that girl? What if she's not even in Akihabara anymore? Hmm, I wonder. How about we call it for the day? I don't think fumbling around in the dark is going to do much for our luck. Hard to argue with that. But what should we do tomorrow? I vote we take a hard pass on the whole Chuni delusion scape. That hooded dude is 31 flavors of bad news. So, should we try to find the source of the maid delusion instead? That seems like the most logical option. I can't imagine it would take us nearly as long to find the deluser this time. I really don't think it's gonna be that easy. Remember how I mentioned there are like 50,000 maid otaku in Akiba? I know, I know. But it's possible this delusion is coming from another source. Yes, it still could be a maid otaku, but it might be a maid herself. Why would a maid create a delusion centered around other maids, though? An otaku just makes more sense. You said yourself that the peak of the Akihabara maid boom wasn't a terribly long time ago, right? So our deluser could be a maid with a story similar to mine. Someone who just wanted Akihabara to be filled with the spirit of maids all over again. I guess that does make sense. You're very persuasive, Mippity, you know that? <laughs> Assuming it is a maid, that brings with it a whole new set of problems. How so? I mean, there are still a ton of maids in Akihabara. There must be at least 20 cafes with 10 maids each. That's 200! Are we just supposed to go on some sort of maid cafe crawl, crossing each girl off the list one by one? Of course. Got any better ideas? Oh, Asahi, this is the part where you go, as a matter of fact, I do. And tell us about your perfect plan, right? Huh? No, uh, as, as a matter of fact, I don't. Well, maybe. Yeah, no. Maid cafe crawl it is. Legwork is what gets us results, after all. Let's do it, Saki. I believe in us. We have to protect reality from the spread of these delusions. And I want some cute girl to call me Master Pinkoon. Why do I get the feeling that Team Dude isn't exactly bound for greatness on this particular investigation? Okay, so let's meet up on the side streets tomorrow. Shall we say one o'clock? No problem here. One? Did you say one? At least make it two so I can get an extra hour of sleep. And here I thought I was doing you a favor. I mean, I'm gonna come right out and say it. I have no confidence that I'll be able to wake up in time. Well, you better get confident because that's when we're meeting. Why don't you let me make sure you're awake in time, Asahi? Hello? Straight to your heart! Sorry? Let's hippity hop! Duh! Good morning, Asahi! This is 
Smippity Mop speaking. Ryu Mimose, age 14. Oh, yeah, I remember. This has been your morning, Mippity, just as promised. So what you think, Asahi? Did I wake you up properly? Yep, I'm awake and full of energy. Thanks, Mippity. <laughs> Mission accomplished, then. Thanks again. I'll get ready and head over right away. Okay, we'll be waiting. Remember, we'll be on the side streets right by the main delusion. I can't believe she had a special greeting just for me. I don't know why, but today feels like it's going to be a great day. Good morning, everyone. You made it on time, Asahi. You're awfully chipper, too. Well, you know, sometimes it's just nice to wake up with the sun, you know? The sun's technically already setting, but still, best not to look a gift horse in the mouth. Sadly, the entrance to the delusion scheme still hasn't shown itself. So, let's get started. We've got a broad search ahead of us, so we'll cover the most ground if we split up. Roger. Gonna give it 110% today. familiar we'll be together always Th this world exists just for me hey kid you got a minute Ooh, me D did you need something from me you like maids right kid S stop calling me kid my name is Ken Necra okay sorry sorry so you like maids right Necra if it's a binary choice between liking and hating them, then yes, I, I like them. You got a favorite? M Moetan. Moetan is my treasure. We'll, we'll be together. O always together. Uh, oh, that's great, really. Really happy for you guys. Glad you found yourself a good maid to, um, be with. <laughs> That kid's got problems. Is he stalking Moe? Now I'm kind of worried about her. Morning, Moe. Oh, Master Asahi. Good morning to you as well. Rather unusual to see you up at this hour, but it's a pleasure to have you joining us today. Oh, no, I'm really just passing through is all. Though as long as I'm here, I've got to ask, what do you think of this spot? This... spot? Well, you know, all the weird stuff here. What do you think of it, as a maid? Hmm, that's a hard question to answer. As a maid, huh? Wait, I didn't really mean for it to be that deep or anything. Just the first thought that pops into your head. As long as my masters and mistresses are happy, I'm happy serving them in whatever setting I'm given. Whoa. Now that's the kind of answer you'd expect out of a signpost maid. I've only been on the signpost a few times. Just when they need to fill space, that's all. Oh, so you just got lucky? Well, good fortune's kind of a skill all its own. Anyway, I'll see you around, Moe. Feel free to stop in whenever you'd like. From the bottom of my heart, I eagerly await your next visit, Master.
still, if it isn't Master Asahi. How strange to see you this early in the afternoon. Good morning, Nana. How's things? Is business booming today or what? It is. Thanks to all our wonderful masters and mistresses, Akihabara's maid cafes live eternal. And what do you mean by that exactly? W well, what I said mostly. I didn't mean it as anything profound. It just sounded like a fun thing to say. A fun thing to say, huh? Hey, Nana, do you like working as a maid? Oh, of course. I think of this job as my life's true calling. Interesting. Then do you ever find yourself wishing that maid culture would expand even further? Maid culture? Hmm. That's a little more complicated. Why's that? After the maid boom, lots of low-end cafes took advantage of the maid's popularity and kind of tainted things. They charged ridiculous prices for food and drink and offered somewhat extreme services to the masters and mistresses. Can't speak to the second thing, but I do remember my wallet taking a beating not too long ago. That's why I'm not so sure expanding maid culture would be the best thing for it, even though I do love my job. That makes sense. Well, thank you for the frank answer. You've given me a lot to chew over. Not a problem. But why do you ask? If I may ask. No particular reason, really. Good luck today, though. Knock him dead. I always do. And Master Asahi, feel free to come back anytime. You're always welcome here. So, how'd your info harvest go? Get anything worthwhile? Hey, no, other than a complete breakdown of Akihabara's gestalt, I've learned nothing of value today. I got to see a bunch of super cute maids, though! So, neither of you found any weeds, then? Nope, but the seeds have been planted. Somebody might have something different to tell us tomorrow. It shouldn't be hard to figure out who the outliers are, so we just have to meet up the same way tomorrow and... Oh, Master Asahi, you're still in the area? Hey, Amoy. By any chance, would you and those two mistresses like to stop in at the cafe? Um... Answer carefully. Uh, I can't. I'm really sorry, Moe. Oh, that's quite all right. Our door is always open, though, so we hope to see you soon, Master. You will, I swear it. Moe doesn't seem any different from yesterday either, huh? Really? But still, but still, I think there may have been one teensy-weensy difference with her today. That's because Asahi responded to her question differently. Mates like Moe are very much attuned to their masters. Plus, that was actually the second time I saw her today. So, what was it you were saying earlier, mistress? Cut it out with the whole mistress thing. That's part of the breakdown of Akihabara's gestalt, too. Anyway, as I was saying, same time and place tomorrow. And you need to be punctual, because if we're not right on time, our jobs get tougher. I can do that. How about you, Asahi? Could I get another Mippity wake-up call? Would that be okay? It'd wake me up for sure. Wake yourself up, Dingus. If you don't mind me calling you so early, I'm happy to do it. I'm ready to hippity-hop anytime. Yay! In that case, I'll see you all tomorrow, right on time. Nice work today, team. Let's keep it up. Now just you wait. Hold your horses. What now? Aren't we done already? It's way too early for bed, so I thought we should head to the Chuni Delusion and ascertain the situation there. What? Are you serious? I'm always serious. We can't just ignore our delusion scape now, can we? Plus, there's no guarantee the Hooded Man will still be there today. If he is, I'm turning tail and running. No buts about it. Yeah, yeah, but that's a big if. We won't know unless we check and see. Come on! Clothes shop! Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista.
What's going on? Hey, somebody's here. What even is this? Was that not a dream after all? Is that boy able to see the delusion? Sure seems that way. We should go ask. By which I mean, Asahi should go ask. Uh, why is it always me? Okay, fine, I'll do it. But I won't like it. Yo, you got a minute? Huh? Damn, you're that guy! Hey, wait! Stop! Oh no, he ran away! But why? What reason would he have to run from you? I don't know, but this is exactly why I didn't want to talk to him in the first place. Rejection hurts, you know. Does this mean we've got another person to chase after? He's a speedy one. He's way too far away for us to catch at this point. Real shame, though. Just because you're in meat doesn't mean your legs don't work, you lazy dingus! Damn it, Pinkoon, stop showing up just long enough to insult me. I do get the feeling that if we were to chase after him now, it would simply be a repeat of yesterday's pursuit. You wouldn't happen to know who he is, would you? Nope. Never seen him before. No past beef that I'm aware of or anything. Could he be the one responsible for the delusion, then? Somehow he doesn't quite... look the part, as odd as that is to say. There's a different air about him than the people of Akihabara. I don't think he has any connection to the delusion. He did look kind of... pretty. Like one of those fashionable boys from Shibuya or Shinjuku or something. We've been getting a lot of guys like that in Akiba lately. They troll the cafes trying to pick up the maids. Men like that try to pick up maids? Yeah, Moe had to deal with a guy like that a while back. He was real persistent, hitting on her day in and day out. But Moe's a pro, so she just kept smiling warmly while rejecting his advances day in and day out till he went away. She just... kept smiling? Every day? Saki, is something wrong? I see. That explains it then. Uh, what explains what exactly? The one who spawned the maid delusion is undoubtedly a maid, not an otaku. Ryu, you get it too, don't you? I think I do. Uh, hey, hi. Clueless dude here. Care to fill me in? For me, repeating the same Sunday over and over again put me on edge because there were never any changes. Normally I'd go to school during the week and do other stuff on weekends. But now, suddenly life was a set routine. I just kept thinking, what if there were no event? Would that be better? And the whole thing was driving me crazy. Now imagine if her life had the same routine day in and day out, even before the loop began. Wait, are you saying... Welcome back, Master, Mistress. Maids say the same things every day of their lives. Their routine is set. Monday or Sunday, workday or holiday, it's all the same to them. So repeating the same day over and over again isn't much different than their daily lives. It wouldn't be so bad. Now that you mention it, Moe hasn't missed a single day of work since she first accepted the job. Then the maid delusion could very well be hers. Come on, we need to find her. of what's happening around her. If I know Moe, she's not thinking of herself at all. She's entirely concerned with ensuring her customers are happy. Wait a sec. Both of you, look over there. Oh, whoa, it's Blondie. Huh? Why are you guys here? Crap, he got away again. What is his deal? His timing and location choices are a little too close for comfort. Oh, Master Asahi... Something terrible has happened. What is it? It's Moe. She's been kidnapped by a strange man. Kidnapped? Could someone else have realized that she was the deluser? Who kidnapped her? Did you get a look at his face? It happened right as she was leaving work, so I couldn't see him clearly. But you just said you knew it was a man. How? What did you see? Oh, well, he was wearing a pink cape. That much I could make out. And based on his stature, it had to have been a man. 
A pink cape? So you're telling me a man in a pink cape kidnapped a maid in the middle of Akiba in broad daylight? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I know it's hard to believe, but please, you have to believe me. I, I saw it ha happen too. M M Moe, my, my, my poor Moe. He, he just swept in and took her away. He, he kidnapped her right off the street. We have multiple witnesses then. We have to hurry. They shouldn't have made it out of Akihabara yet. Yeah, let's find this pink caped creep and rescue her. your time? I'm wondering if you've seen a man wearing a pink cape in the general vicinity. Again with the pink cape? Ugh, look, I totally haven't seen anyone like that, so stop bugging me. Again? Some weird girl asked me the same thing like a minute ago. You seen a guy in a pink cape? No, I haven't. Who has? But if you do, tell me, because I totally want to see him. It takes some real style to pull off a pink cape in public. So does this mean we're not the only ones looking for the man in pink? Can I go now, or should I tell you a few more times that I haven't seen your pink superhero? Oh, sorry. Yeah, by all means. Thank you for the information, at least. 